Good morning and welcome to the 2023 commencement ceremony. Please use this moment to silence your phone. We will begin shortly.
Good morning. Good morning. Oh, now it works. Good morning, class of 2023. Sorry about that. If any students have had me in class, you know that you could have heard me, right? But uh, we want your families who are here today to celebrate, to hear all of your great accomplishments and learn all we have to share about Defiance College. I'm Dr. Agnes Caldwell, and it is my pleasure to welcome everyone to Defiance College's baccalaureate and commencement ceremony. The origin of the baccalaureate service dates back to medieval European custom of pre presenting candidates for the degree bachelor, bacca, with laurels, lori. Historically, the baccalaureate ceremony was a religious service to celebrate and recognize the intellectual accomplishments of graduates. It is in this spirit that we begin today's baccalaureate ceremony with an invocation by Reverend Jim Brailer for Sa from St. John's United Church of Christ. After the invocation, Senior Lauren Cribley will lead us in a responsive reading found in your program, then a hymn by the Defiance College Choir, a scripture reading, and a meditation from Reverend Brailer prior to the commencement ceremony. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce Reverend Jim Brailer. Will you join me in prayer? Standing on the edge between possibility and improbability, we gather here today to breathe in the spirit of hope and exhale the anxiety of change. The preceding years had loomed large in the vision of many who stand before you as if facing an impossible cliff demanding to be conquered. And now we stand together at the edge of the future, once again, both confident and wondering, joyous and questioning. So we ask for the power of your presence, compassionate God, creator of all things, evolver of all things, lover of all creation, known by many names as the one who spoke the world into being, to help celebrate the accomplishments of the students of the Defiance College, who will walk from these halls with their degrees to a diversity of futures. They arrived here wanting to know and to understand. And under the guidance of faculty and staff, they have been mentored in searching for truth, solving complex problems, and developing the capacity to learn from experience. They have been guided in growing awareness of the interconnectedness between all of us and your creation. They are ready with your guidance, with your grace, with your love, to take the next step to being servant leaders dedicated to building your kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. We pray with your help that they will be the best they can be at showing honor to each other, that they will consider everyone as equal children in your name, and that by loving one another, they will love you in all things. Amen. Please respond to the reading as referenced in the commencement program. Creator of all things, you called into existence life from the earth on which we dwell. Graciously, you empower us with knowledge and skills. Bless our gathering this day as we recall your grace and kindness to these young lives. Empower us all to live lives worthy of your callings you offer. Put one foot in front of the other, 
And lead with love put one foot in front of the other. And lead with love. You gotta put one foot in front of the other. And lead with love put one foot in front of the other. And lead with love. Don't give up hope. Don't give up hope. You're not alone. You're not alone. Don't you give up. Don't you give up. And keep moving on. Keep moving on. You gotta put one foot in front of the other and lead with love. Put one foot in front of the other and lead with love. Lift up your eyes. Lift up your eyes. But don't you despair. Don't you despair. Look up ahead. Look up ahead. The path is there. The path is there. You gotta put one foot in front of the other and lead with love. I know you're scared. I know you're scared. But I'm scared too. But I'm scared too. But here I am. But here I am. Right next to you. Right next to you. You gotta put one foot in front of the other and lead with the foot. One foot in front of the other and lead with the foot. Don't give up hope. Don't give up hope. You're not alone. You're not alone. Don't you give up, don't you give up, keep moving on, keep moving on. You gotta put one foot in front of the other, and lead with love. Put one foot in front of the other, and lead with love, and lead with love, and lead with love. And now a reading from the letter of James. My brothers and sisters, think of the various tests you encounter as occasions for joy. After all, you know that the testing of your faith produces endurance. Let this endurance complete its work so that you may be fully mature, complete, and lacking in nothing. You must be doers of the word, and not only hearers who mislead themselves. Those who hear but don't do the word are like those who look at their faces in a mirror. They look at themselves, walk away, and immediately forget what they were like. But there are those who study the perfect law, the law of freedom, and continue to do it. They don't listen and then forget, but they put into practice in their lives. They will be blessed in whatever they do. If those who claim devotion to God don't control what they say, they mislead themselves. Their devotion is worthless. True devotion, the kind that is pure and faultless before God the Father, is this, to care for orphans and widows in their difficulties and to keep the word world from contaminating us. The Holy Spirit breathes into us these words. I graduated from Wayne State University with a Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering. And a few, a few years later, I felt a pull to go in another direction, and I went back to school part-time at Central Michigan University for a Master of Science in Administration. And a decade after living and working in Germany for my employer, I began to feel that I was being called to yet another path. And after trying to ignore that call for many years, I went back to school part-time at the Ecumenical Theological Seminary in Detroit. Now, most homiletics professors teach you that you shouldn't preach about yourself because it can sound too preachy. But in the right circumstances and with the right congregation, if you will, I think sharing part of my story may resonate with your own journey. Early in my seminary career, I, I took intro to homiletics. And I love being back at school and having a, a, the opportunity to be challenged to think academically again. And my homiletics professor wrote on one of my papers that although 
He didn't know my circumstances. He thought I should quit my job and go to school full-time to finish my Master of Divinity and get into the church. And it's too long of a story to repeat here, but after doing a prayer journal for 40 days, I could see that I was having an impact on other people's lives even while working full-time and going to school part-time. Things were happening in the job I had and in the balance of full-time work, part-time seminary and engagement as a layperson in my home church. I had to practice a little mindfulness to see the truth and accept it. Now, circumstances changed, and I finally did go back to school full-time, something I thought I would never be able to do. But what I want to tell you in this story is never underestimate the impact you are having on people's lives, no matter where you find yourself, no matter what you are doing. Everything you do, every career you have, can make a difference. Everything can be a calling for doing your part in the world. What you are doing may change with time, but the purpose of it, working for the betterment of the community and the world, will always be there. In the reading from James, the author talks about the challenges and opportunities we will have in life, things that will test us and push us, sometimes into places we may not think we can go. But as you learned here in your education at Defiance College, in your formation into the people you are today, such testing strengthens you and produces endurance. More importantly, because Defiance College taught you how to learn, I know you will see the opportunities in these moments of challenge. You will continue to make connections between your academic studies and real-life situations. Your education here has given you the broad base that you need to continue to grow. And as the letter of James indicates, you must take what you have learned and put it into action. And I know not all of you here are Christians or perhaps followers of any faith tradition, so let me put it in this way. We were all created to be part of an integrated whole. Each of us, each of us has a part to play. My gifts and abilities are not the same as yours or the person next to you. Working alone, we will only accomplish so much. But if we work together, we exponentially increase the possibility of doing something that will have far greater impact on the world. And as President Mankey often says, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. The letter of James says, but there are those who study the perfect law, the law of freedom, and continue to do it. They don't listen and then forget, but they put, into practice, put it into practice in their lives. They will be blessed in whatever they do. And I see the perfect law as being about relationships, about how we interact with one another, how we build community. And in a story common to the three synoptic Gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, Jesus tells about the greatest commandment as being to love God with one's entire being and to love one's neighbor as oneself. And in Luke, he is found to say that all the law and the prophets hang on these two. In other words, all the biblical scriptures are to be understood through the lens of loving God and loving your neighbor as yourself. Those two undergird everything. And I see what is called the golden rule in this. Treat others as you wish to be treated. It's at the very heart of this commandment. But being a doer of the word, world, the word of love, is to understand how others wish to be treated. And then show your love by treating them in that way. And that's the platinum rule. Treat others as they wish to be treated. Love God with all your being and love your neighbor as yourself. Through your time here at Defiance College, you have learned not only the skills to be leaders, you have learned the compassion and wisdom to be leaders 
that people will follow. I encourage you to listen. Listen to the people around you. Learn from them. And then love them into life. For you weren't taught to listen just to pass the exams and graduate and forget. You were taught to listen so that you can put into practice all you have learned. Do that, and you will be blessed in whatever you do. Keep learning. Keep seeking the truth. Keep doing the word. And a key part of the values of Defiance College is to be of service to your fellow students. Your chosen field of study, your, your community, and the world. And what that looks like, how you do that, may shift and change throughout your lives. So you may need to spend some time thinking about what you are doing, looking for the impact of what you are doing, being mindful of who and how you are in the world. Because sometimes you may be so caught up in the values of the world that you can't see it. True service, true devotion, according to the letter of James, is this, to care for orphans and widows in their difficulties, to serve the marginalized and oppressed, to help transform society through civic engagement and application of your knowledge and understanding. If you focus on those things in your lives and in your careers, no matter where your call leads, you will continue to be the people you were meant to be. Defiance College, with its incredible faculty and staff, modeled for you how to be doers of the world, of the word, by helping you find within yourself your true being. Live true devotion to God, true devotion to the ideals you are carrying with you from this place, and you will keep the world from leading you astray. Live faithfully and become the people you were meant to be, because the world needs you. Amen. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, its faculty, and the staff, thank you to those who participated in the baccalaureate portion of today's ceremony. Thank you. As we begin the commencement ceremony, it is my pleasure to congratulate today's graduates and welcome the families and friends of the class of 2023 to the 136 Defiance College commencement ceremony. We are so glad that the loved ones and friends of our graduates have gathered today with us to celebrate this joyous occasion. Today we will award over 100 degrees and our graduates will join more than 10,000 alumni and alumni throughout the world who call Defiance College their alma mater. Defiance College embraces individuals as an integral part of the community. I have been pleased to see that we embrace not only the transfer of the knowledge and skills, we also facilitate the ability to really learn. Because of that, I believe that as you graduate, you have learned from each and every experience you have had on campus, in the classroom and beyond, in a virtual learning environment, and in the classroom. That sort of transformative learning and critical thinking can and should continue over a lifetime. It also promotes the development of wisdom. Graduates, the entire community takes great pride in your accomplishments while at Defiance College. The entire community looks forward to your future as you pursue your passions and achieve success as you define it. As you go forth from this place, we know that you will often reflect on your college years years that go amazingly fast. And while those memories stay vivid for decades to come, the fast-moving years will turn into decades. Defiance College has a rich history that is now in its 173rd year. We are all grateful 
that you will now be an indelible part of our history. As you might most likely know by now, and as Reverend Brailer said, the African proverb has become a guide for me. It helps me remember wisdom, and I hope it does you as you embark on your endeavors. If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. Before we proceed, I would like to introduce those members of the platform party and ceremony leaders who would not otherwise be introduced. So please stand to be recognized and remain standing. Audience, please hold your applause until all have been identified. Board of Trustees, there are several trustees in the audience and on the stage. Please stand and be acknowledged and remain standing. My husband, Michael Mankey, who supports me through all the joys and concerns of life and career. Mr. Stephen Borowski, Registrar. Dean Lisa Marsalek, Vice President of Student Affairs and Dean of Students. Assistant Dean Mercedes Clay, Chief Diversity Officer and Director of Intercultural Relations. Amy and JoLynn Interpreters. At this time, I invite Dr. Agnes Caldwell, Vice President and Dean for Academic Affairs, to please join me at the lectern to present the bronze and silver medals. <clears throat> At this time, I would invite the chair of the Defiance College Board of Trustees, Michael Miller, to come forward to recognize, with President Mankey, the Bronze Pilgrim Medal recipient. Thank you. The uh, Bronze Pilgrim Medal is the highest award a student can receive from Defiance College. It is awarded to a graduating senior who has exemplified the characteristics traits of self-reliance, pride in work, courage and conscience, strength and education, and faith in God. The 2023 Bronze Pilgrim Medal is awarded to Grant Johnson. So please come forward, Grant. Grant Johnson, the leadership and integrity that you have demonstrated as a student at Defiance College has earned you the admiration of your fellow students, faculty and staff, and members of the larger community. You embody the values honored through the Pilgrim Medal of reliance and self, pride in work, courage and conscience, strength in education, and faith in God. You are graduating summa cum laude today with a Bachelor of Science degree in Molecular Biology. During your time at Defiance College, you took advantage of countless opportunities to expand your leadership skills, volunteer in the community, and apply classroom knowledge on an international scale. You were a McMaster Scholar, service leader, resident assistant, student ambassador, and member of the Carolyn M. Small Honors Program. Grant. In recognition of your remarkable achievements, Defiance College and this faculty is proud to award you on this 13th day of May in the year 2023, its highest student honor, the Bronze Pilgrim Medal. Congratulations. Mr. Miller would return to award the silver or medal. Congratulations, Grant. That's great. So the silver Pilgrim Medal is the highest honor a community member can receive from Defiance College. It is awarded to an alum or citizen who has demonstrated the character traits of reliance in self, pride in work, courage in conscience, strength in education, and faith in God. The 2023 Silver Pilgrim Medal is awarded to Jay Hansen. Jay, please come forward. Jay Hansen. 
Throughout your life, you have exemplified the traits and characteristics represented in the Pilgrim Medal. You have given generously of your time and talents for the good of the Defiance College and our greater community. You earned your bachelor's and master's degree in business administration from the University of Toledo and Ball State University, respectively. Since then, you have worked in the banking industry, helping your clients implement active investment strategies to help them accomplish their goals. Your focus in your career has always been on what is best for your clients, and that focus is evident. You have a deep-seated passion to give back to your community. You bring that passion with you as you serve on boards and are associated with various charities in our own community, including the Defiance County Economic Development, CIC, the Defiance Area Foundation, Defiance City Schools Foundation, and Defiance Optimus. Your desire to remain active in the community became even more evident as you spearheaded the designing, building, and fundraising for the Defiance College Disc Golf Course, Jacket Woods. You and your team work tires, tirelessly to build a premier disc golf course that will be enjoyed both by the campus community and disc golf enthusiasts alike. Defiance College thanks you for your dedication. Jay Hansen, because of your diligent service to others and your ceaseless commitment to this institution, Defiance College and the faculty is proud to award to you on this 13th day of May in the year 2023 its highest honor, the Silver Pilgrim Medal. Congratulations. President Menke, it is my pleasure to present to you Carolyn M. Small, candidate for the degree Doctor of Humane Letters. President Menke will now read and present the citation for Carolyn. Carolyn M. Small, your dedication and commitment to others has enriched not only the campus community, but beyond. You continue to be an inspirational and influential role model to people of all ages. Music has been a part of your life since your childhood in the Defiance community when you learned to play the piano. You began your career at Defiance College in 1964 as an instructor in music theory and organ. Your involvement with the college grew over the years and you became a classroom instructor as well as giving private music lessons. As a senior lecturer in music, you were honored as Defiance College's Distinguished Faculty Member of 1991-92 and were awarded Professor Emeritus status in 1995. You earned the admiration and respect of students and colleagues for your concern and dedication as an instructor and for your professionalism and unparalleled talent as a musician. You accompanied the college community performance of Handel's Messiah for well over 40 years and accompanied more than a dozen production, productions of the Fort Defiance players. You served in an, as an accompanist for many of the college's music faculty and were a member of the Defiance College's trio, performing at various colleges in the 1970s. You shared your musical gift as an organist at St. John United Church of Christ, and the public enjoyed your music at many recitals, both on campus and in the community. You have been active in community affairs as a member of the Northwest Heart Association, the Community Concert Board, the Current Event Club, the Collegium, the Schomburg Series Board, and Fort Defiance Players. You were a member of numerous professional organizations, including the Music Educators National Conference, Ohio Music Education Association, Presbyterian Association of Musicians, Hymn Society of America, and the Council of Worship and the Arts. In 1998, Defiance College created the Carolyn M. Small Honors Program in your honor to provide opportunities for all Defiance College students, regardless of major, to participate in an honors curriculum. Carolyn M. Small, in recognition of your remarkable achievements, Defiance College is proud to bestow upon you on this 13th day of May in the year 2023, the honorary degree 
Doctor of Humane Letters. Thank you, President. And now Dr. Small will say a few words. Graduates, congratulations. I know you are anxious to get out of here, so I will be brief. I am Carolyn's daughter, Robin, a Defiance College 1973 graduate and a master's graduate from Defiance College in 1993. And she's asked me to read this statement. President Mankey, Dean Caldwell, faculty and trustees, thank you for this recognition. I am humbled. I came to the college in 1954 when my husband was appointed the football and track coach. I took my seat in the stadium. Ten years later, Dick Strady, then head of the music department, persuaded me to exchange my seat in the bleachers for the piano and organ benches. Music was my discipline. I enjoyed teaching. I was eager to provide a path for my students to make music an integral part of their lives. I hope I succeeded. I have enjoyed the opportunity to burnish this gem, Defiance College, which is truly a jewel in the Defiance community. Thank you. It is my pleasure at this time to introduce our student commencement speaker, Mr. Grant Johnson. Grant graduates today summa cum laude, majoring in molecular biology and minoring in chemistry. After graduation, he will be attending Ohio University Heritage College of Osteopathic Medicine, pursuing his dream of becoming a dermatologist. Grant. Sorry, technical difficulties. To the Board of Trustees, Defiance's faculty and staff, my fellow graduates, family and friends, good morning and welcome. There are four things in my account that we need in our pursuit of this journey that we call life. The first time I ever walked on campus, I saw the words to know, to lead, to understand, and to serve. The mission of Defiance College embodies these four pillars, and they are innate in everyone here in some way, shape, or form. Every one of us can know, lead, understand, and serve. Not only has our education over the past four years developed these pillars, but our overall experiences, connections, networking, and relationships here at this institution has advanced these pillars like none other. And I want to personally thank everyone involved in our journey over these past four years. 
Everyone I have come across at this institution daily has in some way helped me to know, to lead, to understand, and to serve. I want to reflect on what we, the class of 2023, have achieved here today. We are graduating college. Everybody here should be incredibly proud. I want everyone to look around this gymnasium. What do you see? Parents, grandparents, caretakers, family members, friends, professors, faculty, our supporters. Why are they here? To celebrate this milestone in our journeys. Today, hugs will be given, tears shed, big smiles, and endless laughter. All of these emotions and more encapsulate the feelings that may strike each of us here today. As we've gone through these past four years, our supporters, whether it's family, friends, or our faculty, have seen the time and sacrifices it takes to get here. The love, encouragement, and significance that they have given us as we walk to class each morning is unparalleled. And you all are the people that we want to thank and make the most proud of in our lives. We thank you for that as you have assisted us on this journey. Class of 2023, the will and determination to, as we say in the choir, put one foot in front of the other, is something that no one can ever take away as we walk across the stage today and receive our diplomas. Today marks the pinnacle of success in our life up to this point. But the thing is, it's not over. The journey continues. One of the biggest gifts I've received from Defiance College <clears throat> is the realization of how the four pillars will always assist me in this journey. I want to give you an example. In the fall of 2016, I was 15 years old and I was diagnosed with stage one malignant melanoma. I underwent two surgeries, one to remove the cancer from my nose and another to recreate my nose. This was a very emotional and painful experience for myself and my family. But now, as I reflect on that season of my life, I've been given clarity as it was a stepping stone on the journey. And with the four pillars that have been instilled in, in us here at Defiance, we will all be prepared to tackle the next step of our journey. First, to know. When my family received the call from the pathologist confirming my cancer diagnosis, we were shaken. I was shaken. I, I didn't know why this was happening to me. I remember sitting on the couch one night after my first surgery. I was broken down into tears. Half my nose was gone and I was scared. My mom came over to the couch and she sat beside me. She told me, you need to know that God is in control and this too shall pass. I believe that there is a plan created for everyone here today. There are many pages and chapters in this plan, but we must know to keep faith and persevere through it all. With faith and persistence, anything is possible. From that night on, I knew that life would be filled with many setbacks and challenges. However, the journey is long and gruesome sometimes, but if we prepare our minds and our spirits with this idea, we can take the next step on our journey, no matter what the circumstances are. Because of this conversation with my mother, my perspective on life changed. I began to lead by example. This doesn't take talent or skill. It takes action. Because of this unexpected event, I missed a lot of school due, the, due to the uh, required cut recovery time. And I was told that I would not be able to recover in time to play the game I love, basketball. However, I refused to accept this negativity as truth. After surgery, I spent countless hours studying in the gym, weight room, at the dining room table. But by the end of the semester, I was back on the court and inducted into the National Honor Society. Through this, my experience taught me that no one could prevent me from outworking and working hard in every area of my life. Our reward here today for our hard work continues as we are blessed to see another day on this earth. People were amazed how quickly I was back into the regular life routine and told me it motivated them to pursue their goals. We must always 
have the inner strength and determination to overcome and remain positive during adversity. People call this grit, and it's an attitude that I live by. I encourage everyone here today to live with grit and to lead by example. Attract people by your actions, not your words. And when you do this, people will gravitate towards you. They will see you going after your dreams and enduring any trials or tribulations, and it will motivate them. Our attitude in the storm will help us get out of the storm. As time passed, I went into the next season of my life. I began to understand why I was tested and why I went through such a difficult time. There was a full circle moment. As I remember, I shadowed a physician uh, my junior year here at Defiance. Remarkably, a patient came in and they needed the same procedure that I had undergone just a few years earlier. The patient was visibly anxious, they were upset about the surgery, and I recalled my uneasiness of the day of my surgery. So I explained to, to her my procedure and I reassured her, you will be fine, we will take care of you, and I'm right here for you. The patient grasped my open hand for comfort and after the surgery, I pointed to the scar on my face and I explained, see, you can't even tell what I have done. As her physician operated, I vividly relived my surgery and I was reminded why God had allowed me to experience such a painful and life-challenging event. I understand that ups and downs of life make us who we are. The beautiful thing about opposition and adversity is that when you live with it, it teaches you. We have to understand that we cannot live this life in fear. As we walk out the door today, the journey continues. Our biggest gifts are on the other sides of trials and tribulations. All of the crossroads up to this point have happened for a reason. And we must be grateful for it all. Understand that gratitude reciprocates and understand that tomorrow is never promised. So what you do in the present moment counts. So don't be afraid, go for it. And finally, speaking of doing, we must never forget our purpose in life. Our calling is to serve. If you can impact one life, if you can change one life, you have fulfilled your purpose on earth. Our experiences through the fire serve as a testimony that we can give back and inspire others on our journey. The thing about life, whether it's our future education, future careers, future families, friends, is there's no finish line. We can always strive to chase something and we must always trust the process. Defiance College has reminded me that if we stay true and know who we are, if we lead through action, understand that everything happens for a reason and serve others, there should be no reason that we cannot all positively impact this world. It's not about our next destination, whether it's a new job or graduate school. It's about the excitement along this journey. We must never be satisfied and always strive to improve. And as Kobe Bryant once said, job's not finished. Job finished? I don't think so. Thank you. Thank you, Grant, for those encouraging words. Robert Morton is the superintendent of Defiant City Schools, the youngest of seven children. Morton was born and raised in Columbus, Ohio. He attended Bowling Green State University, receiving a, Bachelor of Science and a Bachelor's of Science in Biology in 1993 and a master's degree in educational administration and supervision in 2003. Mr. Morton has been a building principal for 16 years, the last 12 at Defiance High School. He assumed the responsibilities of superintendent of Defiance City Schools in August of 2019. Mr. Morton has served on several boards, including the Defiance Chamber of Commerce, Sherwood State Bank, YMCA, Defiance Baseball Association, 
Berkshire Homeowners Association and Northwest Ohio Juvenile Detention Center. Bob Morton and his wife, Melissa, are the parents of Mallory, Cooper, and Madeline. In his spare time, he enjoys being outdoors and umpiring. Mr. Morton. I was actually hoping that the microphone didn't work so that you could skip my part. So graduates, congratulations. I'd be remiss if I didn't say that first. This is about you. This is not about me. But nearly 30 years ago to the day, I was sitting out there on May 8th, 1993, getting my bachelor's degree. And it's an exciting time. And I now know what I looked like, bored, scared, right? And it's good to see it from a different perspective. But the most important thing that I heard from my commencement speaker, E. Gordon Gee, the, the president of Ohio State University at the time, he said, the most important thing I want you to hear from me today is, be good, be brief, and be seated. I promise you, I will be brief and be seated. I can't get you guaranteed the be good part, all right? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished faculty, board of trustees, proud parents, and most importantly, the graduating class of Defiance College. It is an honor and privilege to stand before you today as your guest speaker for this wonderful occasion, your commencement. This is a remarkable milestone in your lives, marking the culmination of years of hard work, sacrifice, and dedication. Allow me to extend my heartfelt congratulations to each and every one of you. As I reflect upon my own journey and experiences that have shaped me, I'm remind, reminded the power of this very moment. Graduation, it's not just about receiving the diploma, it represents a transition, a bridge if you may, that connects your past to your future. Today you cross the bridge and enter, enter into a world full of endless possibilities and boundless potential. Now, as your guest speaker, I do not stand here as an expert with all of the answers. I promise you I am no expert, but I am a fellow traveler on the path of life with you. I stand here to share a few words of wisdom, some inspiration, and drawing upon my own experiences and observations. I hope a few of these words resonate with you as you embark on this new chapter of your life. First and foremost, embrace the unknown. Life after graduation is filled with uncertainties, and it can both be thrilling and terrifying. But remember, it is often through the unknown that we discover your true strength and character, just as Grant referenced. Embrace the challenges that come your way, because really what they are, they're opportunities in disguise. Embrace them, they are opportunities in disguise. Now this is something we often hear and your parents have shared it for you, right? Dream big, dare to dream big. The world we live in today is shaped by visionaries and dreamers who refuse to settle for the status quo. Sorry, I gotta get the paper clip off. I should have done that at the beginning. Your education has equipped you with the knowledge and skills necessary to make a difference in the world. Believe in your abilities, trust your instincts, and strive for excellence in everything that you do. Dream big and have the courage. Have the courage to pursue the dreams relentlessly. I caution you though, dreams are not enough alone. They must be accompanied by the hard work and the perseverance that you've shown to get to this point today. Success rarely comes overnight. Occasionally we'll see something on TikTok or Instagram where somebody became a millionaire overnight but it's rare. It requires this dedication, resilience, and your willingness to push through all the obstacles that are in the way. Remember to embrace this process and never lose sight of your goals. Remember, failures are stepping stones to success and setbacks are opportunities to growth. As you navigate into the professional war world, this is my most important thing that I can say to you today. Remember the value of human connections. In a digitally connected age, it is easy to get lost in this sea of virtual interactions. But true success and fulfillment come from genuine relationships. Take the time to connect with others, to listen from a, and learn from diverse perspectives. Cultivate empathy and compassion. 
for it is through these qualities that we create a kinder and more inclusive world. Grant referenced this too. Never forget the importance of gratitude. As you celebrate this milestone, remember all of those who have supported you along the way, the teachers who inspired you, your friends who cheered you on when you needed a pick-me-up, your family who has always believed in you. Take a moment today, not tomorrow, today, to express your gratitude and thank them. And also express your gratitude by giving back to your community, which Defiance College instills in all of you. Remember, success is not measured solely by your personal achievements, but, it, but the positive impact you have on others and your community. Class of 23, as you embark on this new journey, remember that you have the power to shape your own destiny. Believe in yourself, trust in your abilities, and dare to make a difference. The world is waiting for your unique contributions, and I have no doubt that each and every one of you will leave your mark. Congratulations, graduates. Go forth and conquer the world with passion, purpose, and commitment to excellence. May your future be filled with joy, fulfillment, and infinite possibilities. Thank you, and God bless you all. Thank you, Superintendent Morton, for your inspirational message to our graduates. Recently, at the McMaster Symposium and Academic Colloquium, students were recognized for their many academic achievements. At this time, I would draw your attention to the commencement program, where we list the names of graduating seniors with honors based on GPA. Would all the students graduating cum laude, magna cum laude, and summa cum laude please stand? They are recognized with their gold cords. The doctor, now doctor, Carolyn M. Small Honors Program enables students to augment their regular coursework with honors options, provides opportunities for domestic and international travel, and sponsors the symposia each year. Would the students graduating from the honors program please stand? They are wearing purple stoles. Defiance College has long been in the forefront in our commitment to community engagement and service. We now honor the graduates who have demonstrated outstanding leadership and service both on and off our campus by either being service leaders, wearing purple and gold honor cords, or civic engagement award awardees wearing teal cords, if those students would now stand. And finally, if the graduates who served as McMaster Scholars, all faculty and staff who led those learning communities would now please stand to be recognized. These students are, rec are being awarded Royal Blue Honor Cords and work closely on community-based research projects. <laughs> and finally, the McMaster School awards a certificate to students who served on trips, but also engaged in four constitutional conversations and completed additional coursework in global politics and social systems. If the students who earned this certificate would please rise, they too are wearing purple and white honor cords. You may be seated. One more round of applause for these fantastic students. And now, the moment we've been really waiting for. Will the candidates for the degrees, Bachelor of Arts, please rise? <laughs> President Mankey. It is my pleasure to present to you the candidates for baccalaureate degrees at this time.
The faculty and I attest that they have met the qualifications and the requirements for the degree or will do so as required by Defines College by August 2023. Upon the recommendation of the faculty and by the authority of the Board of Trustees in the State of Ohio bestowed upon me, I hereby confer upon you the Bachelor of Arts degree. Congratulations. The candidates for the bachelor's degree will now come forward to receive their congratulations from President Mankey. We ask that you confine your expression of appreciation to applause. Students, please do not forget to move your tassels from right to left, signifying graduate status at this time. David Andrew Bauer. Cameron Beckering. Sarah Marie Blousey, cum laude. Carmen Blanca Caldwell, cum laude. Armando Campos Ortiz. Jarvis Marlo de Corsi. Cum laude. Teresa Renee Iker Hudgens. Caitlin Michelle Good, cum laude. Jocelyn Marie Guzman, cum laude. Avante Rajan Jones. Easton W. Lewis, summa cum laude. Joshua Sterrett Mauer. Jack Richard Minner. Caden R. Perwitz. Erdwin Quintana. Evan Wayne Rummel. Noah Henrik Spomberg. <laughs> Tyler N. Taylor, magna cum laude. Also graduating from Defiance High School simultaneously through Ohio College Credit Plus. Rigoberto Villa Jr. <laughs> D. 
Desiree Michelle Walker. <laughs> Joshua C. Vischer, magna cum laude. William Colton Westfall. And now, will the candidates for the degrees Bachelor of Science please rise? President Mankey, it is my pleasure to present to you the candidates for baccalaureate degrees at this time. The faculty and I attest that they have met the qualifications and requirements of the degree or will do so as required by Defiance College by August 2023. Upon the recommendation of the faculty and by the authority of the Board of Trustees in the State of Ohio bestowed upon me, I now hereby confer upon you the Bachelor of Science degree. Congratulations. These candidates will now come forward to receive their congratulations and diploma from President Mankey. Students, please remember to move your tassels from right to left, signifying graduate status. Grant Matthew Johnson, summa cum laude. Jordan Ambrose. Mackenzie Page Army. Summa cum laude. <laughs> Trisha K. Baldwin, cum laude. Dasani Amari Kadar Beeman, cum laude. Bailey Lynn Bell, magna cum laude. <laughs> Alyssa Geneva Bach, magna cum laude. Austin Tyler Bowles, magna cum laude. Hunter D. Bostader. Kylie Lynn Brinkman, cum laude. Lauren Natasha Cribley, summa cum laude. Camille Shirley Brown. <laughs> Catherine Dawn Bundy. <laughs> Mallory Grace Cartarelli. Magna cum laude. Tavon Elijah Carden Payson.
Bryce Cooley. Mackenzie Grace Cooper, summa cum laude. D'Angelo Silo Espinal. Marissa Lee Esposito, summa cum laude. Miguel Angel Gomez. Brooklyn Sue Grant, magna cum laude. Caitlin Lauren Hartzell, cum laude. Jabrius Allen Heidelberg. Tyler Hines. Austin John Horning, cum laude. Michaela K. Hunt, magna cum laude. Jaquay Qaddafi Janvier. <laughs> Jerome Santos Johnson. Catherine S. Johnson, magna cum laude. Max Junior Julian, cum laude. Trey Bryant Kiefer, magna cum laude. Dylan Matthew King. <laughs> Haley Elaine Krausick, magna cum laude. <laughs> Colin J. Crick. Olivia May Kruskowski, magna cum laude. Lily Link. Taylor Linkus, magna cum laude. Seth Thomas Majeski. Yes, <laughs> 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 
Lisa Maria Macau, magna cum laude. Carrington Christopher Martin. Micaiah Sierra McLaurin, cum laude. Sophie M. Moeller, summa cum laude. Jadina Ellen Mazzetti, cum laude. Maricela Davina Najar. Jordan May Nicewander. Destiny Asiratine Ashodi. Seth Gabriel Pearson, magna cum laude. Noah Parker Pistori. Madison Lynn Pischel, summa cum laude. Abigail Mary Rank, cum laude. Marissa Marie Roberts, magna cum laude. Autumn M. Sadler, magna cum laude. Hunter Morgan Swoko, cum laude. Nicole Renee Sims, magna cum laude. Brianna Marie Lee Snyder, magna cum laude. Garrett Joseph Snyder, summa cum laude. Alexandria K. Sparks, magna cum laude. Taylor Nicole Steinbrenner. Hunter Alexander Stettner. Parker Raymond Tills, cum laude. Brianna Nicole Townley, cum laude. Jessica Louise Troush, summa cum laude. Mackenzie Renee Umbaugh. <laughs> Mar 
Julia Ann Yeager, cum laude. Will the candidates for degrees Bachelor of Science in Nursing please rise? President Mankey, it is my pleasure to present to you the candidates for the bachelor degree at this time. The faculty and I attest that they have met the qualifications and requirements for the degree or will do so as required by Defiance College by August 2023. Upon the recommendation of the faculty and by the authority of the Board of Trustees in the state of Ohio bestowed upon me, I hereby confer upon you the Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Congratulations. These candidates for degrees will now receive their congratulations and diploma from President Mankey. Well done, moving your tassels already. Please come forward. Laura A. Moore. <laughs> Elias Frankie Rogers, cum laude. We have to get this right. Thank you. I'm doing the best we can, folks. Will the candidates for the degrees Master of Arts in Education please rise? <laughs> President Menke, I present to you these candidates for master's degrees at this time. The faculty and I attest they have met the qualifications and requirements of the degree or will do so as required by Defiance College by August 2023. I would invite Dr. Carla Higgins, Director of the Education Program, to also come forward to assist in the hooding of the graduates. Upon the recommendation of the faculty and by the authority of the Board of Trustees in the state of Ohio, I hereby confer upon you the degree Master of Arts in Education. Congratulations. Thank you, President. If these candidates would now come forward to receive congratulations and their diplomas from President Menke and Dr. Higgins. Daniel Hurd. <laughs> 
Lindsay M. Stack. Will the candidates for the degree Master of Business in Administration please rise? <laughs> President Mankey, it is my pleasure to present to you these candidates for master's degrees at this time. The faculty and I attest that they have met the qualifications and requirements of the degree or will do so as required by Defiance College by August 2023. If Dr. Brett Decker, assistant professor of the business program, will assist in the hooding of the graduates, please. Upon the recommendation of the faculty and by the authority of the Board of Trustees in the state of Ohio bestowed upon me, I hereby confer upon you the Master of Business Administration degree. Congratulations. The candidates will now come forward to receive their degree. Congratulations from President Mankey and hooding by Dr. Decker. Amber Julianne Baldwin. Mackenzie Claire Benham. Sean Lee Caressel. Gabriel Scott Carell. Taylor Christine Day. <clears throat> Jeremy Jeremiah Jimenez. Daylin Lange. <laughs> Nicholas Ian Albert Minshaw.
an important, an important recognition is that we have several veterans who are graduating today, signified by red, white, and blue cords around their necks. Would the vets in the audience who are receiving degrees today please stand and be recognized? Congratulations, graduates. Could we please, one more time, give our graduates a hearty round of applause. While commencement ceremonies signify the end of an educational endeavor, by definition, commencement means a beginning, a start. Ming Dao Deng offers this wisdom. Make your stand today, on this spot, on this day. Make your actions count. Do not falter in your determination to fulfill your destiny. Don't follow the destiny outlined by someone else. Create your own. Your resolve to tread the path of life is your best asset. As long as you keep going, use your imagination to cope with the travails of life. Overcome your obstacles and realize what you envision. Create the poetry of life with compassion and determination. For those of you who have planned an event of this scale, you realize how much coordination and detail goes into making it a success. There are numerous staff members who have worked many hours to make the detailed arrangements and prepare the venue as well as food service professionals who have prepared for the reception that follows this joyous occasion. The assistance of each dedicated individual is crucial to the success of the culminating event in our life as an academic institution. Let us thank them now. So that we can acknowledge those who have supported you graduates along the way, let me ask now for mothers, and by the way, happy Mother's Day, Welcome. And fathers, stepmothers and stepfathers, and guardians to stand so that your students can thank you with applause. Please remain standing. Please remain standing as you're able. Now let's add sibling, grandparents, spouses, and partners to that support system. Please remain standing. Now friends and relatives. Now Defiance College Board of Trustees members, President's Cabinets and all guests, please rise and remain standing. And now would the faculty and staff of Defiance College stand to also be recognized as a significant part of our graduate success. As we look around, we see so many people who have supported you along your journey. On the journey forward, please remember your experiences at Defiance College that are mirrored in my advice my New Zealand sister offers to me often. Make a difference in your piece of the world, no matter how large or small that piece of your world is. Students, please now offer your appreciation for the unending support from your loved ones to all of them. Finally, students, now graduates, would you please th join those standing so that we can all recognize you one more time. And now graduates, if you would please gently Throw your mortar board to celebrate your accomplishments. Ready? One, two, three. (laughs) 
We are all now standing with much warmth in our hearts. Let us remain standing as graduate Desiree Walker from Detroit, Michigan, who, who was a self-designed major, leads us in the singing of the first two verses of the college alma mater. Our alma mater was written by Ralph Peters and Mary Strickland Roberts, both from the class of 1918. It was reharmonized in 2005 by Dr. Strady, former Vice President for Academic Affairs and Academic Dean. The lyrics and music are on the back of your program. Desiree? Once our closing anthem from the DC College Choir is finished, please remain standing until all graduates have recessed from the Wiener Center. All guests can then proceed to the McMaster Central Gym to participate in the reception in honor of our graduates. Jesus encouraged his followers to pray continuously and not to be discouraged. Do not pray for easy lives. Pray to be stronger people. Do not pray for tasks equal to your powers, but for power equal to your tasks. Then the doing of your work will be no miracle, will be the miracle. Amen.
so happy, yes. I'm so happy, yes, I am. <laughs>